Hi everyone, welcome to How Fix It. In this video guide, I'll show you how to replace the back glass cover on the Apple Watch. To disassemble the Apple Watch, you'll need the following tools. Screwdriver set with tri-wing 0.8mm screwdriver, tweezers, plastic opening tools, glue. I will use B7000 glue due to its high elasticity, anti-vibration, and water-resistant properties. Screen disassembly tool. This tool has a very thin curved metal blade for opening electronic devices with a screen that is difficult to pry with a common plastic tool. I think this is a must-have tool for disassembling all Apple Watch series because the gap between the screen and the watch body is so thin. I recommend using a magnetic mat during the repair process, which is especially useful in the case of the Apple Watch. Throughout this disassembly, keep track of each screw and part so you can put them back in the right places. This will help successfully reassemble your Apple Watch. And don't worry about losing any screws and small parts. All of them will definitely remain on the magnetic mat. I left links where to buy all the necessary tools in the description. During the display opening process of the Apple Watch, you might damage the force touch gasket. If you separate the gasket layers or cut the cable, you'll also need to replace the force touch cable itself. But don't worry, this cable costs around $5 and is easy to replace if damaged. This video guide shows the repair process of the LTE version of the Apple Watch, but the GPS-only version has a similar repair process. Before you start, turn off the Apple Watch. Insert the edge of the curved blade into the thin gap between the display and the watch case. From this position, gradually begin to separate the display. For a more successful opening of the watch case, warm up the surface of the display with a regular hair dryer. To avoid damaging internal components, try not to push the blade deep inside the watch. Carefully fold the screen to the back. Now using tweezers, carefully peel off the black tape covering the three display ribbon cables. Use a plastic tool to open the locking tabs on the display. Don't worry if you tear off that part of the black foil. This doesn't apply to the mainboard ribbon cable. The two sides of the black tape peeled off. Now carefully pull the display ribbon cables out of their connectors. If the force touch gasket is damaged, remove the remaining layers from the display frame and the watch housing.
disconnect the cable and remove the vibration module. The Apple Watch battery is glued to the watch body. You can use isopropyl alcohol to safely remove the battery. Add some isopropyl alcohol under the battery and wait a bit. Use a plastic tool to pry out the battery. Remove one screw and disconnect the battery cable. Now, slightly press down on the motherboard to separate the back glass, along with the motherboard, from the outer housing of the Apple Watch. Be careful with ribbon cables when removing the main board from the main shell of the watch. Be careful with these little springs, they are very easy to lose. Disconnect the mainboard ribbon cable from the back glass. The back glass cover includes sensors and a wireless charger. In the description, I left a link where to buy a back glass cover for the Apple Watch. Let's start reassembling the Apple Watch.
Before continuing assembly, make sure that the button of the locking mechanism works fine. Use double-sided adhesive tape to reglue the battery to the watch body. Before gluing the display to the main housing, test the watch and check all functions. It looks like the watch is working fine. Now you can proceed to the final part of the assembly.
Let's move on to gluing the display with the housing. This will restore protection from water and dust. You can use a special adhesive sticker for your Apple Watch or a silicone glue. In my opinion, for protection against water and dust, glue is more effective. To fix the display and the main housing, you can use clips or rubber bands. The B7000 glue dries completely after 24 hours, but the minimum surface drying time is 6 minutes. So I recommend waiting at least 45 minutes, after which you can remove excess glue. This repair is complete. You're on how fix it, and see you next time.